I'm glad you're here. stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Karen, though. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster is sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you.
want you to see a vis today. Today I'll tell you how Robinson came to be. A long time ago, oh, our oh. forefathers came to this shore. Cedric, I need some Ostmerk. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Weezing. Fathers bowed before Vayopatis and offered him sacrifice. And he protected them from the forest and gave them. Something's troubling me. Let's hear it. What was the bloody witch? I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. Then his hand inched towards his knife. Nervy. What then? The poor wonder. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The... A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista! You know the power of this weapon! Hmm... Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away! Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. 
As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's think true. These drunkards you protect people one. from the scoyer. There's a Plamble, plamble. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the ass. Plamble, plamble. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plamble, plamble. Do that again. And I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. You've had your song. Care that for some real diversion. The king himself. They say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? Nothing better than a fire. What do you need, ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now. But I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse. Two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get Who's any better. Who's a wired Luckily, the Commodus provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for that you. That one struts about so as, as if he, he were the king to tell himself. Did you hear? I'll not Two lend big shots arrived. I don't like strangers. Did you hear? What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher, so I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm All right. Let's begin. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. Except side feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commodates provided it all. True. <laughs> Come they here, say man. witches have no story. need to plow. So long as he can afford Did you know it. that? I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. They say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? They say witches have no need to plow. Except a fireside feast. Did you know that? Hey! You're a lightweight, grey wolf. Did you hear? What you want? I was looking. Let's do. Luckily, the commandant. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Come here, lass. Wonder what they want. got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. They say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? Haven't had this Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. You know this one. I don't like strangers. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Now they 
You've had your song. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Did Except you a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. <laughs> they say <laughs> witches have no need to plow. Luckily, the Did you know that? It all. <laughs> True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it, I'll not lend an ear. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. That one struts about Come as if he was a king. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. So long as he can afford to tell it, I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Care for a little diversion, grave one? I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. Don't you traipse around here. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the ass. Plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. Someone struts about as if he were the king himself. The list is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Lurido. Lurido's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? 
might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Bowing squirrels. I'd put him in their place. Good old talk. Prove it. Soldier, report to me immediately. You. We're too soft on them. That's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison's thinning. Huh? Now you're talking. We don't need what to do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your civilians. Spend the rest of your life on the king's gun. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. Soldier, report to me immediately. They say which... Well, did you know that? What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Have respect for your superior. In Flotsam. They say witches have no... Did you know that? Soldier, Nothing report to me immediately! Fire side feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any... What do you want?
In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, Sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. in Flotsam. Sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish dump. They say witches have no need to plow. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. They say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the witcher, but no one else. 
Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. What treasures you got? Everything's where it should be. No passage. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. Your point, Commandant? You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Though you stir up storms wherever you go, I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell! I don't like strangers.
Don't forget your blade. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. 